peace y'all what up your boy joke no joke you already know look man i just came on for a quick moment because i'm tired of people sending me these messages about cardi b supposed to have called some black girl or black woman or somebody a roach and y'all trying to compare her calling somebody a roach trying to compare that to defamation of character calling someone a roach and saying someone has an std is two different things now <clears throat> don't get me wrong i'm not sitting here capping or or fighting for cardi because she called somebody a roach but how many black people call black people roaches and arguments and snapping and and fights right it's no different from uh, a Spanish person calling another Spanish person uh, a spick or, or or nigga or something like that like certain things is getting taken way out of context Someone calling somebody a roach and someone going uh, publicly saying someone has an STD or a disease is not the same argument. Can y'all stop with the bull? Stop, please. That is not the same argument. That is not the same argument. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all keep saying it's like Cardi's racist when she got a black husband and two black babies. How racist could she really, really, really be? Like, come on, man. If you don't like her, just say you don't like her. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But comparing her calling somebody a roach and somebody uh, doing defamation of character is two different things. Y'all comparing oranges and pickles. They don't match. They don't go together. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to sit here and hold Cardi B as a racist because she called the black person a roach in the argument or in the fight. We've all called each other probably worse. When you going for the when you going for the juggler, you going to hit below the belt. Y'all want to hold her to her calling somebody a roach, but y'all want to hold Fat Joe to calling Little Mo and, and Vita crackhead bitches, dusty crackhead bitches. You went and found them in the crack house. Did Swiss Beast and, and, and Timberland hold Fat Joe accountable? No! This nigga was hosting the next goddamn two verses. The Bone Thugs in the Harmony one with, in, in California. He's not even from California. And then he, he hosted the, the, the Jada Kiss in the, in, the, uh, in the Locks joint. I mean, the Locks versus Dipset joint. Did anybody say anything to him, put him on punishment, put him on timeout? For calling black women crackhead bees, dusty crackhead women. Ain't nobody put him on timeout. All these people going to do interviews with him, who kid, all the rest of y'all. All y'all going to do stuff with him right after he called black women crackhead bitches and dusty hoes. Y'all didn't reprimand him in, in no way. Rock Nation going to get this nigga a, a, a goddamn White Castle endorsement deal. And he saw in his feelings about that. He went and shot another one to put his jewelry on, on the inside. Because he was so in his feelings about people saying, ah, you took your chain off. He went and did another commercial.
Why y'all ain't reprimand him for good talking to black people? Don't talk to me about no goddamn cockroach statement. And y'all still out here supporting Fat Joe? Y'all got him to the point where he faked y'all and say he went and bought a $4 million watch. If you think Fat Joe got $4 million to waste on a watch, y'all niggas is stupid. Fat Joe ain't even got $4 million. Yeah, he got $4 million to put on the watch. Come on, man. That nigga outfit ain't even worth $1,000. And he got on the watch that cost $4 million. His outfit ain't even $1,000. If y'all really believe Fat Joe bought a watch for $4 million, and this nigga don't own a house, on, on, on a private island somewhere? Y'all really think he bought a watch for $4 million? Come on, man. Come on, man. Jay-Z don't own a watch that costs $4 million. He's not even that goddamn stupid to waste money on a watch. This thing got a $4 million watch and still don't know what time it is about buying jewelry. You would say and act like you went and bought a watch for $4 million, bro. You still don't know what time it is. You gonna buy a, a, a fake a, a watch for $4 million. And you wouldn't go buy no gold bullions, no silver. You gonna go buy a whole bunch of fake diamonds, whatever they told you the diamonds was and what they worth. I know these dudes in the jewelry district. They selling something that costs 100000 They selling it to y'all for about one5 And all the diamonds ain't even real in there. Y'all really believe Fat Joe spent $4 million on a watch? I guarantee you, I give y'all two years. I give you six months, really. But I give you two years. I bet you Fat Joe won't have that watch no more. I guarantee you somebody paid him to wear that watch. I guarantee you, you will not see Fat Joe with that watch anywhere. He gonna go take a few pictures and he gonna give it back. I know niggas from the Bronx that Fat Joe, yeah, Fat Joe the Gangster, they will cut his goddamn arm off for that watch. Remember them 50 terror squad niggas that left from down to six? I guarantee you, if 44 of them niggas, at least one of them, will cut Fat Joe arm off for that watch. Out of those 44 niggas that walked out the room and said they ain't dealing with him no more, I guarantee you, one of them will cut his arm off for that watch if he really had a watch for four million. Four million, yo. What records has he sold in the last few years for him to be able to purchase a watch for four million? I'll wait. We still waiting for Remy album, seven winners and six summers, and then we in eight winners now. Shout out to Remy, that's my girl, right? But Fat Joe got four million. Four million, y'all, or the waste on a watch? On a watch. Somebody should pull up Fat Joe's house. Show me his house, show me his cars. And tell me he got four million to blow on a watch. In the pandemic. With a show on Instagram. With a few sodas behind him, he got four million for a watch, y'all. He has not sold no records. He has not had a, a major in endorsement deal or anything, but he got four million to go to a jeweler and buy a four million dollar watch.
A nigga that done went through the crack era. The 90s hip hop era. All the stuff that we learned about jewelry and diamonds and gold. You telling me Fat Joe went and bought a $4 million watch? But he's selling burgers out of White Castle's window. He don't even own a White Castle. He got a sponsorship deal with White Castle. He don't own five White Castles, one wing stop, one Starbucks, but he went and bought a $4 million watch that soon as he walk out the jewelry store, if he went right back in there and said, yo, I don't want this no more, they're not giving him $4 million for it. Joe, stop lying to these young boys, man. You going to get niggas killed out here trying to get drug money to buy a watch to impress y'all niggas. You know damn well you ain't buy no watch for $4 million. If you did, Fat Joe, you bought that watch. Show me the receipt. Show me the receipt. And when you show me the receipt, make sure you pull up your credit card statement or your bank card or your debit card statement with that same receipt and show us where that shit came out of your, your account. I give you 24 hours, Joe, to show us the receipt that you paid four million and then show us where it got debited from your account. Tell the truth to these kids. Tell the truth to these kids. Show them the receipt and show them where the money was Taking out your account. It's 920 in the morning. I don't know when I'm going to post this. But it is February. I mean it's February 2nd. 920 in the morning. I'm going to post this at noon. I guarantee y'all. By noon Wednesday. Fat Joe is not going to show you. Where 4 million came out. His bank account. We want to see out your bank account. Looking at my Gucci, it's about that time, brother. This is a real Gucci watch. It do not cost $4 million, but it is real. Show us from your bank account, Fat Joe. We want to see you from your bank statement. Or we want to see where you withdraw $4 million and you went in there and paid for that shit. Keep it real with niggas. If you don't respond to this shower 24 hours, y'all already know this shit is capped. Even though y'all already know it's cap. Anybody with money knows he did not buy no watch for $4 million. Call me a hater. Call me what you want. Call me jealous. But I bet you one thing you won't call me is stupid.